What is going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and today we're going to be talking about the difference between a business analyst and a data analyst. Now for the past year I have been the only data analyst or analyst of any kind on my team and we just recently hired a business analyst. And I was actually on the hiring team who hired this business analyst and so we're super excited to have him on board. And I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of the differences between these two positions both in a team or by themselves. So we're gonna look at four main things today. The first is responsibilities, the next is qualifications, skills, and then salary. So let's start off with responsibilities. So first, let's look at the business analyst. The business analyst is gonna work with the clients a lot to understand what they need and what the problems that they're having. And then they're gonna work with the managers and try to figure out how that's gonna work within their team. The next thing that they do is use current data to outline the problem. So they're gonna to have to go in and actually look at the data and then understand what that client is wanting so that they can describe to the team what they are trying to solve and what they're looking for. And the next thing that they're gonna do is outline and communicate what the client actually wants to the team. What is the problem? What are they trying to solve and how are we gonna get there? And oftentimes a business analyst is gonna do all the analysis around that and then actually hand it off to either the programming team or a data analyst to look into this further and actually solve the issue. The data analyst is gonna actually work with the programming teams that collect and analyze the data. And so the difference between these two is the business analyst is typically gonna work most with the client side and with the managers, while the data analyst is gonna work more with the programming side. Next, they're gonna use pre-existing data to actually solve the problem. And so the business analyst is gonna bring the problem and define the problem and bring that to the programming team. And then the data analyst along with the programmers or the developers are gonna actually solve the problem and figure out a solution. Next, they're gonna create reports and dashboards, and that is a part of basically any data analyst job where you're creating some type of visualization. And the very last thing that you're gonna do is present analytical findings to the team. So the business analyst is gonna actually bring the problem to the team, where the data analyst is gonna present back to the team with their findings and with a possible or potential solution. Next, we're gonna look at qualifications, and the qualifications are actually pretty similar. For the business analyst, you're gonna need a bachelor's degree, and typically it's gonna be something in business administration, finance, economics, something business related. Sometimes you might need a master's degree, and for the most part, what you see in business analysts is they often have MBAs. Data analysts typically don't have MBAs, but let's look at that one next. So for a data analyst, you also would need a bachelor's degree, and that's typically in something like computer science, statistics, mathematics, economics, or finance. And as you can see, there is a lot of overlap between the business analyst and the data analyst. And you also may need a master's for some positions, and typically isn't an MBA like a business analyst. Sometimes they're looking for things like statistics or mathematics or an actual analytics master's degree. And so those are some of the qualifications between these two positions. So for a business analyst, you're gonna need skills like SQL, Microsoft Access, and Excel. And those are some of the more technical skills that you're gonna need, but you're also gonna need really good soft skills, such as communication skills, presentation skills, and just general people skills to be able to communicate and talk effectively with the clients or with the team. So for a data analyst, you're gonna need a little bit more technical skills. And so you're gonna be using things like SQL, R and Python, Tableau, or a data visualization tool. You're gonna to be doing data modeling, You'll need to know SAS or SPSS, Excel, and then some type of cloud platform like Azure or Amazon Web Services. Now let's look at salary for the business analyst. For an entry-level position, you can find anything from 35 to 50,000. For a mid-level, 50 to 75,000. And then for a senior, anything from 75 to 95,000. And for a data analyst, for an entry-level position, you can find 45 to 60,000. For a mid-level, 65 to 85,000. And for a senior level position, anything from 85 to 110,000. I think that a data analyst makes a little bit more on average than a business analyst because a data analyst uses a lot more technical skills. And oftentimes at small companies or even large companies sometimes, a data analyst is expected to work with clients and work with managers and work with teams in general. And so a business analyst isn't even necessary at some companies. A business analyst typically can't replace a data analyst because a business analyst normally doesn't have the technical skills that a data analyst has. So that is why I think the data analyst makes a little bit more on average. So that is all I have on the difference between a business analyst and a data analyst. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.